Hello, I'm Dr. François Lelouch, and I would like to give you a brief overview of our article published in the International Journal of COPD. In this study, we have evaluated the FreeO2, a new device that automatically adjusts oxygen flow rate based on the patient's needs. We compared automated oxygen titration with FreeO2 to manual oxygen titration in COPD patients hospitalized for an acute exacerbation. Oxygen therapy is currently delivered by oxygen flow meters. The first article about the utilization of flow meters in the medical field was published in 1910, and there has been no evolution to deliver oxygen therapy since this publication. We have developed the FreeO2 device that automatically adjusts the oxygen flow rate every second based on pulse oximetry saturation. The aim of FreeO2 is to accurately titrate oxygen flow to reduce the time with hyperoxia or hypoxemia and to automatically win patients from oxygen. The other, other advantage is to improve patients' monitoring with continuous recording of SpO2, oxygen flow rate, respiratory and heart rate. The objective of the study was to evaluate the FreeO2 in COPD patient hospitalized for acute exacerbation. We conducted a randomized controlled trial comparing FreeO2 to manual oxygen titration. In the FreeO2 group, oxygen flow rate was automatically titrated to maintain the SpO2 target set by the clinician, and remote monitoring was available to the nursing station. In the control group, oxygen flow rate was manually adjusted as usual based on SpO2 target chosen by the clinicians. In both groups, the data were monitored every second until the end of the study. We measured every day the perception of appropriateness of oxygen management for titration and monitoring in both study groups by nurse and by attending physician using a Likert scale from 0 to 10. We evaluated the time within the SpO2 target as defined for each patient by the attending physician, the time with severe desaturation, SpO2 below 85%, and the time with hyperoxia, SpO2 above 5% above the target. Length of admi oxygen administration, length of hospital stay, intensive care ad admission, and readmission rate were evaluated. Baseline physiological value were not different between the groups. The initial mean oxygen flow rate was 2 liter per minute, and SpO2 target was 90% in both groups. FreeO2 and usual oxygen management were deemed appropriate for the oxygen titration and for the monitoring based on nurses and physicians' daily evaluation. Time within the SpO2 target was higher with FreeO2 from 51 to 81%. Time with hyperoxia was reduced with FreeO2 by a factor 7, and time with severe hypoxemia was reduced with FreeO2 by a factor 10. Automated fl oxygen flow winning was associated with a reduction oxygen therapy duration and a reduced length of hospital stay by 30%. Larger studies will be required to confirm these results. The complications and readmission rate did not differ between the groups. To conclude, FreeO2 was inappropriate to deliver and monitor oxygen therapy for COPD patients hospitalized for an acute exacerbation. The system maintained SpO2 within the recommended target better than did manual titration and reduced desaturation as well as hyperoxia. Our results also suggest that FreeO2 has the potential to reduce the hospital length of stay.